So guys, here we are again, touching down from the glamorous Chiang Mai city in northern Thailand as always. Today is a sad, sad day. It's a sad, sad situation. And it's a happy day too, but it's a sad day for Chiang Mai, but a happy time for Thailand. So if you haven't guessed, we are at Kat Swan Khao. And if you've not been listening to the news or not know what's been going on, this place is closing down. Um, it's been big news in Chiang Mai, obviously. This is a well-known place, a well-known mall, a well-known landmark. And yeah, this is the final week that it's gonna be open. It's crazy, I've never seen it as busy as since they've declared that it's closing. <laughs> it's been dead, man, until, until they've said it's closing and it, now it's rammed every day. I've, I've held off a few days until I've come here because it has been absolutely gridlock here with, you know, they're selling everything off cheap. So everybody's been here getting some bargains and I'm gonna go in now and have a look and see, maybe I can find a bargain myself. And I thought I'd have one last meal here, one last meal in the food court for old time's sake. The last time, the final time. Well, they say it's temporary and I've heard some reports saying it won't open again. My opinion is it won't open again. Uh, why is it going to open again when there's, when you've got the new style moors? I mean, look at it. We've got bikes everywhere, man. This used to be closed off here. They've opened it all up again because the amount of people coming. So, put the dreaded mask on. I can't wait till this is gone as well. It's a sad, sad situation. Oh, I feel a little bit, feel a little bit emotional, you know. Feel a little bit emotional. It just makes you think, how can they get rid of it? I mean, it still looks good, doesn't it? They've, they've had this bottom bit done and it's all gonna be closed. All these places are gonna have to find, hello, new places to set up their business. I mean, Cafe Amazon's gonna be all right, isn't it? That place all over. All these small food courts here, they're gonna have to find new places to set up. So before we have a walk around, I thought I would sit down and just, just have a chat about Kat Swan Khao. And I also said there's some good news as well. So we're gonna talk about the good news of Thailand at the end of this vlog. We're gonna start with the sad news, this amazing place closing. So Kat Swan Khao was opened in 1992. I think it came to about 2 billion baht, so I read, um, by a local businessman. I don't know who owns this place now. Um, yeah, it, it houses everything you could ever dream of. There's a cinema here, every shopping you could dream of. I've never really been in every nook and cranny, but we're gonna go around and have one more last documented look in case this place never does open again. I am thinking about coming back on the final day. That was the plan, guys. I was gonna come on the final day and just see what was going on in here. But I've decided to come early. So yeah, we're in Kat San Khao for the last time. Well, if I do a live here, I'll come back again, but I've got a feeling this will be the last time I'll ever be in here. Um, it could be something else in the future, who knows, right? It's more busy. This is just down on the food court than I've been here before. Of course, back in the day, it used to be really busy. So what we're gonna do now is put on the dreaded cloth again. And we're gonna have a proper look round on every floor, see what deals are going on, see what shops are packing up already, and just, yeah, have a general look around at this place before it closes. So I had a buddy here over the weekend, and it's all over the news about the weekend here. It was queued up right outside. People were just waiting for the bargain, so. Yeah, let's see if everything's been sold out or there's still some bargains going on.
So as you can see, the outlet was still chock-a-block with people trying to grab the last-minute bargains. So yeah, this is, it's been announced as closing for a while now and it's still busy here now, every day. So this dragon shop, it's always a winner with the ladies and they do some cool stuff. I might find a decent pair of sunnies or something. So I'll have a look myself in a minute. Snowman here, anybody want a snowman for their garden Christmas time? There's the hat lady. This is the place I wanted to look in in a minute. See if she's got any good deals. So I'm gonna have a look in there in a minute, guys. I'm gonna have a walk around the second floor here. So I think this was a sports shop. And this was open not that long ago. Yeah, sports world, so. Looks like that place is packed up and gone. To me, Sports World is in every mall, I think, or most of them, so they've probably packed up early and, you know, called it a day here. They've got other shops. So we've got a sale going on here. Oh, looks like under 100 baht. You get your jeans if that's what you're into in Thailand 100 baht you won't get it much cheaper than that unless you go to the second hand place no all these small phone shops and these were a godsend when your phone went wrong little places like this but they'll they'll turn up somewhere else they'll go to another mall or they'll have a shop in and around the city as you can see, it's getting pretty busy. Getting pretty busy. Every day there's gonna be less and less things on the shelf. So I didn't know if I said there's a hotel in Kad Swan Khao as well. And some people were talking like the hotel was maybe put a nail in the coffin as well. It didn't help having to run a hotel. Oh, it's a big place isn't it, it's a big place, it's never really packed right out in the last couple of years, well it's been dead in the last couple of years. <coughs> right, we're going to go up to the third floor. there's going to be stuff I'm going to miss there's loads of things here you know I'm not going to go around every single bit but we're just going to have a walk around until I get until I've had enough then we'll go and get something to eat so this was the IT zone coming soon <laughs> look coming soon it won't be coming soon no more so they had plans for up here and it won't be happening will it or will it? It's, it's not closed for definite. How are they going to open this place again? I can't see it, man. I really can't see it. Okay, it's in Niman and Hoi Khao area, which gets busy when the tourists are here, but you know, I think it's going to get taken over again, isn't it? 
see if the cinema's still open. I've still got to watch Top Gun yet. Got to watch Top Gun soon. Right, so the cinema and everything's still open. They're going to go to the final day by the looks of it. Now showing Top Gun. I could go and watch it now. I think it's on two o'clock. But I keep meaning to watch it. Yeah, you got your Wi-Fi zone over there. But yeah, it's very quiet here, isn't it? It's got the new Jurassic World on as well. I want to see that. Light year, the roundup. And the amazing Top Gun. A little bit of me keeps putting it off because I don't want to be disappointed. I've seen mixed reviews on it, but I'm going to watch it in the next few days because that was one of my most favourite movies, Top Gun. You know what? I think they've actually turned the aircon off in here because I can't feel no aircon at all. And I'm sweating in here. I'm never sweating inside of a mall ever. Well, I think they might have either turned it right down or turned it off. shop and yeah all of this is gone guys all of it there is nothing left here this used to be a cool shop all gone this is a big place really in it massive place nah subway ain't gone is it used to be subway all oh, these restaurants are gone look they've gone already Ah, this used to be, I remember getting food here. It's all gone. But obviously it would be, right? There's a week left. So, yeah, I'm glad I walked down this bit just to see all this. God, that Jeffer place. There always used to be people in here. Wow. Yeah, all gone. got the food court in the main area so we're gonna go down to my famous corner get some grub then after this we're gonna sit down and we'll talk about the good news the Thailand good news because yeah this is shocking news really <laughs> it's shocking isn't it okay you can understand promenade closing a cat swan cow right in the city right near Niman and on Hoi Cow Road I mean, if this place can close anywhere can I'm gonna come in here and eat for one last time this is one of the cheapest places in town this place is famous Swadi Kap Sabadi Mai so there's a couple of them closed chicken lady still open down here So most of them, hello, <laughs> still open. Quite liking the look at this one. 
here we go then. This is the last dance in Katsuankao. Got me some fried chicken, some pumpkin. Got myself an egg and some fried rice. Doing some, doing some fried food in the last ever time. I'll be sad to see this little place go. We're losing this food court as well. We'll be checking the ghoulies because yeah, I didn't come here all the time, but I, whenever I was going past or was going to Niman, I would come in here. Because yeah, it's a well-known place where people come and get some cheap, nice food. I mean, look here, it's, it's great food really, man. It's, it's nothing wrong with it. So, was that the last meal in Katsuankau? Time will tell. One more look at the old place. Yeah, I've got one more look actually. Not emotional, just you know, knowing it won't be there. <laughs> it probably, well it won't be, it won't be there. Next time I come past then I won't be able to go there no more. That's a place crossed off that I can never come to again. getting a place busy like closing it down is it if you say something's closing down it will be packed right out man and before that there won't be a dicky bird in here as soon as you say something's happening or we're closing the doors wham just crowds of people i mean it's getting pretty busy in here now man so i think i'm nearly going to call that a day guys because yeah it's just like Herds of cattle in here. So what I wanted to do, just go down to the um, iStudio MacBook place here, and you never know, there might be might be a deal on a MacBook or something. So we're just gonna have a look. Yes. I'm one of your followers. Oh, really? How you doing, man? Good. How are you Good doing? To you. Good to see you. Yeah, I, I, you're the, you rode the bike. Walk about way, yes. Uh, but yeah, welcome out Yeah, way. that's it. Cool, nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah, so you're just here shopping and yeah, having just, a look uh, around. My brother's here. We're cool, you're on the vlog now. You're on the vlog. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, Subscriber. Was, yeah, I was following you and I was looking at your video. I've been here a couple of years. Yeah. My brother's uh, just been his retirement. Wow, okay, yes. And uh, yeah, 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 nice, nice to, to meet you. Nice to see oh, you. Nice too. to meet you too. Yeah. Cool. He's one of the vloggers I follow on Facebook. Cool, meeting subscribers, it's always good meeting subscribers. Yeah, yeah. yeah you take it easy, man. Pleasure. See you yeah, again, man. see fun. you. Ah, oh, I love that, man. Love it. Always makes me buzz when somebody stops me. There she is, Lit. Will she come back? Will she get knocked down in the future? Who knows? So we're gonna go down, get Lucille, talk about some happier times in Thailand. Thank you. Lucille! Just think what it would be like in here when it's closed. Yeah, like getting in here, it would be eerie. <laughs> There was some abandoned places around Chiang Mai. The old ice skating ring was it up near the bus bus station. People used to get into that place, and you know there's spray painting all inside. I did see a video on it once. All these little places here, we'll have to go. All gone. See, for about last year and a half, this was blocked off. 
you could not come through from here onwards this was blocked it looks like they've opened it all up now because it's closing and you can park down here that's the bike I was gonna get the um, Moto GP colors Yamaha Aerox I still want that bike man I love Lucille but I've got the wrong one see that one there's nice as well isn't it that Aerox there with the Moto GP decor where is Lucille? Oh, this far did I? There she is, there she is, look! She's a little beauty, isn't she? Right guys, so let's go and get a coffee, sit down. It's sad to see Cad Swan Cow go. I might come back and do a live stream on the last day, but is it really worth it? I've done a few days before it closes. If I feel like it, something's going on here, say if they like have some sort of big ceremony or festival on the last day, of course I will come and either do a video or maybe do a small live stream. But if nothing else is happening here, nothing different from today, I, I doubt if I'll come back. So this could well be the last time I ever come here. So let's go and get a coffee and we'll talk about some happier times in Thailand. Man, that was crazy coming out of Kad Swan. I don't think I'm going back there, man. All the bikes, it's a little, it's a little road to get out on and there were so many bikes in there man this girl couldn't get her bike out so it was blocking everyone so I had to get off move loads of bikes so she could get out and everybody could get out so yeah it's crazy man so yeah I'm down the chilled temple now Wad Prasing this is my more sort of my style of living <laughs> more chilled I mean Chiang Mai is just more crazy now man I've seen some videos where they're saying nobody's here and that's that's just a load of bollocks man it's a load of bollocks there is the streets are packed man the roads are crazy okay it's nothing like it was but it's busy here now man it's busy anyway we're gonna finish off on some on a brighter note the thailand pass has been abolished and people can come here now and it, this little thing is gonna be in the bin soon in the bin I mean, there's going to be places where we're still going to have to wear these. Probably shopping malls, 7-Elevens, um, probably temples like this. But out and about, this thing is going straight in the bin. I'm not going to be wearing it out on the motorbiking when I'm outside, not in a crowded area. So yeah, the Thailand news, everybody's on about it. Everybody's chuffed. Um, the clubs and the pubs are open till 2am. And life is going to, hopefully get back to a little bit of normality and people can travel around and hopefully that might that's give me a little incentive to get out because I've always wondered like I've always had it in the back of my head can I get back into Chiang Mai or can I get back to where I want to be if I get stuck anywhere you can get locked out of provinces here even if you went down south or something and something happened let's say if they locked Chiang Mai down that's what I was always worried about really um, other people didn't they just uh, carried on traveling around but yeah I'm a lot more at ease now that it's open didn't want it all to be sad news about Cad Swan Cow and when people ask me about order rules coming into Thailand I'm probably the the worst one to ask about all that because because I got here before any of the Covid happened I never knew nothing about it I never read up anything about what was needed because I was here man and yeah, I'm gonna do my three year review vlog soon, guys, where I talk about the three years here and what I've learned. So that one's coming up as well. And yes, yeah, all good, man. I just wanted to do the Cad Swan Cow vlog, really, and just talk about the good news at the end. It's a beautiful day again. It's been cloudy for a while, but it's never cloudy for long, is it? I've decided to go down to Mong Kong Temple and get me coffee down there off my favorite lady. She knows just how I like it without the sugar. So I'm gonna stop waffling guys and yeah, tune out from Chiang Mai. Sign off and I'll see you in the next vlog coming soon. So I hope you're safe and sound people and I will see you in the next one. So take it easy man, take it easy.